Welcome to Let's Talk Sport and Sports Kita for our Champions League semi-final first leg preview of Ajax versus Tottenham. Well, what a fairy tale story it is really for both of these teams. Um, Ajax getting to the Champions League semi-final for the first time in quite some time. I think this is Tottenham's first trip to the semi-final yep. since like the 1960s. So, you know, we're going to have a team in the final of the Champions League for the first time in, in years and well, great stories for both teams getting to the stage of the competition as well, Luke, isn't it? Oh yeah, especially, obviously, the story of the season is obviously been Ajax. Played some beautiful football, knocked out probably the two biggest teams in the Champions League this season in Real Madrid. Absolutely dismantled them at the Bernabeu. Played some beautiful stuff. I swear Casemiro is still spinning around somewhere from that brilliant Dusan Tadic uh, solo goal. And then obviously, yeah, yeah, they beat Juventus at uh, Inter in and uh, yeah, it's been a massive fairy tale story. Obviously, their their main players been De Ligt, Tadic, uh, Hakim Ziyech, Darren Neres. Yeah, it's just a great young team. Probably going to get absolutely picked apart in 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 the summer. The best clubs will be nicking their best players. But what a journey it's been. Yeah, make the most of it now um, and hope that you can keep a hang on the the, the bow and important players into the squad. Um, I think potentially they got a good chance of keeping hold of Tadic in the summer. Oh, yeah. um, but you know, Frankie De Jong's already uh, gone out the door, and De Ligt's probably going to be joining him uh, in the summer as well. But you know, that result against Juventus, no one expected them to get the result against Juventus to see them through to the Champions League semi-final stages. Um, just a, a sheer great atmosphere at that football club as well at Ajax. So this. This home leg being first is a perfect start for them to, to get them into the right place into the. Is it not at top? No, the the home leg is at Ajax first. Oh, right. um, I, I think it is, um, and you know it would be the perfect opportunity for them to to get themselves off to the right start in the Champions League in front of a home crowd as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, they I think the last time they lost in the Champions League was Real Madrid when they beat them two one. Totally undeserved uh, win Madrid had. But yeah, at, at home this season, they've been absolutely superb. I think Ajax across all competitions have scored like 160 goals. Mm. So this is a, 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 a this team will score. There's no way Spurs are keeping a clean sheet. Obviously, last time Spurs went to Holland, they played P, PSV in, in the group stages. Uh, was quite fortunate to leave uh, with a draw earlier on in the season. But I just, I don't... I know Spurs. It is at Tottenham. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is at Tottenham. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. So, but I just imagine just Ajax. Like if Ajax uh, get a goal in the, in the away leg, keep it uh, level or keep it with them in front and take them back yeah. to answer down. I I reckon Ajax could dismantle Spurs just like they dismantled Real Madrid at, at, at the Bernabeu because they've been playing that well like they're riding on the crest of a wave at, at the moment and it could take them to the Champions League final and and it could possibly take them to their fifth Champions League yeah do, do you think though the fact that it's kind of it's flipped around these legs now this this time you know the past two uh, rounds um, Ajax have always been playing away on the second leg um, whereas you know this time around they're gonna be playing away on the first leg do you think that could be a bit of a stumbling block for them um, in terms of their preparation for the tie overall. Uh, no, 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 not really. Because if like if they keep it tight in the uh, away leg, they could bring it back in the home leg uh, to really like put the pressure on Spurs. Because obviously Spurs, I don't, I don't know who you say is, is the favourite in this tie. Like if Spurs had had a full, fully fit squad, I'd say. Spurs is a favourite, but for me, it's Ajax are the favourites to get into the uh, to the Champions League final. Obviously, no Moussa Sissoko, no Kane. I know Mauricio Pochettino said that if they get to the Champions League final, he could possibly be be fit for that. But for me, Ajax are the, are the favourites here. To, yeah, to get to the final. Uh, Tottenham, their own fairy tale journey of themselves, beating Manchester City in the previous round. Um, in the in the quarterfinal stages to put their spot in this stage of the competition, and as you mentioned as well, you know ha no Harry Kane, no Harry Kane in that second leg of that game either um, against City, but yet they were still able to deliver and to get the key goals in that frantic game yeah, that had so what many a great goals. Game that was. was probably one of the best games in Champions League history. Um, do you think Tottenham now playing against what 
you know, a lot of people will say is a lesser opponent in terms of quality because of how well City have done in the Premier League this season. Mm -hmm. Do you think Tottenham may have an advantage in this tie with it being home first or not? Well, obviously they lost at the weekend, so I don't know how that's going to feel in their confidence. But if they take Ajax lightly, then they then they will get punished. Mm. It shows like Madrid took them lightly. They went there, got the win, went back to the Bernabeu, thinking this is job done. We'll, we'll, we'll just see it out and got absolutely dominated. So if Spurs think that this is going to be an easy, oh, it's only Ajax. Uh, they only need to look at what's happened to the to, to the bigger clubs in Europe. Yeah, and they've got absolutely demolished. Dusan Talic is is having the season of his life. Thirty four goals and twenty one assists this season has been their their main attack. And then obviously you've got so much talent in that team. And like you got Frankie De Jong against like Eric Dyer and Har Harry Winks. It's not mm. for me. I reckon Ajax will. Will win quite comfortably. What do you, how do you think this game's going to unfold um, in, in this first leg? I I reckon it'll be quite tight, but yeah, again, I think I'd say it's quite tight, but I think it'll be a score draw. Both both teams will go out and attack. I reckon Ajax is going to press really high, and and it's going to be a great reunion for some of the Ajax old boys, Eriksson, Alvaro, the Tongan, and Davinson Sanchez. Yeah. But for me, I think it's going to be a two-two draw, mm. score draw. I think it's going to be a score draw as well. I'm going to go for 1-1 one, one, though. I think it might be a bit of a tighter game. Um, Tottenham, of course, suffering from that 1-0 defeat to, to West Ham at the weekend. The first team to score at the new stadium against Tottenham. Yeah. Um, and I think that could carry over into uh, this game as well, especially with how you know Ajax have been playing away from home in the Champions League this mm -hmm. season. Um, uh, at Real Madrid and at uh, Turin against Juventus as well. And I think you know they'll bring the, that form into this game and potentially cut, try and cause an upset, maybe get a, an early lead. But I think Ajax have had the week off. Yeah. So that might play in their favour. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think as well, Son and Lucas Moura have got enough firepower to, to get something past Ajax in this game. But I don't know how it's going to play out in the second leg. Is he not playing? Oh, yes, he's oh, suspended, oh, isn't yeah, he? suspended. Good so call that... out from producer Jamie. Um, so, uh, so that swings the time more into Ajax's yeah. favour. But I, just have Lucas Moura and Fernando Lorente up front. I still think I still think it's going to be a draw. Um, I think one-one is a fair result, um, and you know Lucas Moura should be able to produce the challenge. And you've got the likes of Ericsson as well in midfield yeah. to. But obviously, you've got the man mounting himself, the teenager Matthias De Ligt. Yeah. For me, the 19-year-old captain. He, he's been the second best defender in the world this season. Mm. Probably the best centre-half partnership in the world this season has been Van Dijk and De Ligt for Holland uh, so I fully expect there to be goals but yeah I do think it'll be a 2-2 two, two, two draw we'll have to wait and see what happens at the new Tottenham Stadium on Tuesday night